Good morning, Whitefish Bay Middle School, and happy first day of school. What an absolutely gorgeous day that we're having right now, uh, and what a smooth start to the school year. I'm not sure why uh, things went so well this morning. Maybe it was our meet and greet, having that just a couple days before school started, but it just seemed like kids knew exactly where they needed to go. They were set up in their lockers already, and it just was a, an incredible start to the day. So thanks for all of your help in, in, in doing that. Thanks to our, our staff members for helping to make sure everybody had a positive start to the day uh, as well. When you talk with your child tonight, I would be curious, uh, when you talk about the first day, what were some of the things that helped them feel successful this morning? Um, and, and maybe what were some of the things that, that we also could have done to help it be more successful? And feel free to shoot me an email when you hear their responses. I'd be really curious. Um, uh, and I just wanted to share with you that in, in the weeks ahead, I, I'll talk with you a little bit about some of our, our focus areas and goals for the year. Uh, so you know a little bit of the work that's happening here at the middle school this year. But one area that we continue to work on is developing a, a culture of belonging for our school. And we know that there are a couple things that go into that. First, uh, we have to create an environment here that is safe, predictable, and affirming of kids' identities. We also know that a culture of belonging requires that we foster and su support the social and emotional skills of students, both uh, through our advisory structures, through uh, explicit instruction, that both of those things go together for that culture of belonging. And we're, we're going to be uh, adjusting some of our expectations for kids, reinforcing expectations on the table to help create that type of environment. Um, but one of the ways in which we're doing that this year is really reaffirming our identities as a culture of readers. Uh, we love to read in this school. We know we're in a, in a, in a wider community of white public library here. So that's who we are. We read. And so an expectation that we have for kids this year is that you always have at least two physical things that you're reading. Maybe it's your literature discussion group book. Maybe it's an independent book. It can be a magazine, a graphic novel. But you always have that with you in your backpack, two things to read. I think one of the things we saw coming out of the pandemic is that one of our defaults when we didn't have anything to do was to pop open our Chromebook and play games. And boy, we try to block those games, but new sites pop up faster than we can do that. So that's just a habit that we're looking, that, that we saw last year that we want to break this year. So we're telling kids, we're not playing computer games at school. There's never going to be a time that's okay. If you're done early with your math homework or uh, you, you, you think you don't have anything to do, you've always got something to read. So we're going to work on that with kids here. Our English language arts teachers are going to be taking kids, making sure they've got something that, to read with them. But we're going to ask for your help as well. Uh, ask your child when they come home. Uh, maybe not today. Give us a little bit of time to work with them on it. But what, what are you reading? What are those two things that you have to read? If they don't have anything, maybe go to the family library or the public library or Boswell Books. And let's grab some things that you really are excited to read so that when, when, you, when you're not sure what you should be doing, you know you've always got books to pick up and, and to dive into. So that's just one of the things that we're working on right now to, to, uh, to establish that culture uh, here at the middle school. I'm really looking forward to this year, everyone. It feels really, really positive here right now. I, I wish you could feel that uh, at, at home, and, and hopefully your kids bring that energy home with them tonight. If there's ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. Have a great day.